and welcome to another episode of I Demand a Homestead. My name is Amanda and today it is March here in Ontario in Canada and it is time for us to tap our maple trees to make maple syrup. We've got a few trees that are tapped already and we've got a couple more that we're going to do so we're going to show you the whole process here today and how we do it. Okay so here is a tree that's got a fair amount of sap in here see it's slowly running today and Dave is going to empty that into our sap collecting bucket and incidentally it takes 40 liters of sap to make one liter of syrup and that is a 23 liter bucket so that is a lot of sap okay so in addition to your maple trees which are obviously a required piece of equipment um, here are the other things you're going to need you're going to need a sap collecting bucket, ideally one with a lid. You're going to need some spiles, um, which are the little spouts. Um, these are what they call tree saver spiles. Um, and then you need a drill with either a 5 16 bit or a 7 16 bit. And this one is a 5 16 And I've got a little piece of tape here measured or marked at the two inch mark because that's the depth that we want to drill into the tree is two inches and this little piece of tape will tell me when we are exactly there all right now we are ready to tap okay so here is our big maple tree that we are tapping today um, we are going to be tapping on the south side of the tree which is the part that kind of gets the most sunshine against the tree and so that's where the sap tends to run the best and dave is going to set up the drill to do the tapping so what Dave is going to do is he's going to put this tap in at about a 30 degree angle okay just so that that way the sap is going to run down into the bucket and he's going to try and make sure he drills in nice and straight um, that's important because if you kind of wiggle the drill around the spile will not fit in there very well and it will potentially leak all right you ready Dave mm -hmm. okay off you go Okay, so, all right, now we are going to get our spile and tap it in. All right, so Amanda's going to take a spile, spiel? Spile. Spile, and going to gently tap that sucker in, gently, because we don't want to split stuff, and we want to create a bit of a seal. If you kind of take a look, you notice that the stuff is already flowing. What a beautiful, beautiful piece of work there, Amanda. It's amazing, <laughs> and hopefully it doesn't leak at all. Okay, so then we hang our bucket and then we're gonna put the lid on. This lid will keep the rain out, which is great. Um, sometimes if we've had really windy days, these buckets will sometimes blow off. And what I've done is I've kind of uh, washed a rock and put it in the bottom of the bucket just to hold it in place, which you can do if you need to. Okay, so if you are going to be um, producing any amount, any significant amount of maple syrup, you're gonna wanna boil it off outside because otherwise it's going to really make your house so crazy humid it's just going to fog up everything and can create mold problems so this is how we do it it's probably the most not the most efficient um it would be cool if we could kind of do this with wood burning but it just takes too much time and we don't have enough woods to supply um, the wood that would be necessary to do that so we do this over our barbecue and so dave is filling up two roasting pans right now and that is how we are going to boil off the sap the other okay so here is our sap that is boiling off and again what i'll do is once these pans are down by half we'll transfer one pan into the other one and we'll continue to reduce this one and then if we have more fresh sap by then we'll put it in that pan right so that's the warming pan and that's the boiling down pan and that kind of reduces the amount of fuel that you need to do this so and then once this is this pan is down again to that kind of from 20 sorry from 40 liters of sap down to about eh, two liters or so then we bring it inside the house very very important um, 
not to leave this sap on too long and let the level get down too low because then it'll burn and it definitely I've done that before if you forget about it so set a timer so you don't forget about it and bring it inside the house in order to finish it off and turn it from sap into syrup this way because I need to keep a better eye on it and you need to use your candy thermometer here which I've got going so we're going to reduce this again by about half so we'll come back once this starts boiling. Okay, so now our sap is boiling. I have turned it down from high heat down to medium, just so it's gonna be kind of like um, a rapid boil, but not kind of wanting to boil over. And at this point, I'm just gonna check it probably about every kind of half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour, um, just to see how it's doing. The bubbles are still kind of really big. Um, and there's not a lot of kind of frothiness yet, so it's definitely nowhere near ready. Um, and you can kind of, once you've done this a few times, you'll get to know what it looks like when it's getting close, but it is not close yet. We're not quite there yet, but we will be shortly. This is when you see these bubbles getting small that you need to kind of pay closer attention to your syrup. Okay, so now we've reached the right temperature here, so 219 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna pull my candy thermometer out. And the next thing we want to do is we want to filter this because there's still some like gook in here, okay? Bits and pieces. So I've got a fine mesh strainer and I've got some sterilized jars. And then we're just going to pour our syrup, which is what it is now, gradually through the mesh into the jar. So there we are well on our way to our first liter of maple syrup and you can see all that that we filtered out you can kind of filter it more finely through cheesecloth um, to get rid of there's there's kind of like a, a crystallization that forms in the bottom i don't really worry about that though this is i find enough for us because we're not selling this this is just for personal use all right dave is going to sample the first maple syrup of the year is always a very big deal in our house and he's got this in his fancy little glass Wow. So what you can't tell is how freaking awesome this is. So thank you for joining me in another episode of I Demand a Homestead. If you guys have any questions about making maple syrup, please feel free to post them in the comment section. All right, everybody. Take care. Bye.